Good morning, Coach Heimerman. Uh, what was your takeaway from this past weekend? Well, uh, was, we had some lousy weather. Again, that was the first takeaway. But, uh, no, I was very happy with the team's performances. Uh, you know, going out there and, and competing in, in you know, 50 degree. This time it was only 50 degree, but wet and windy weather. Uh, just getting out there and competing like they did, I was very happy. Because uh, you never know what's going to happen at conference. Could have horrible weather. Uh, I hope not. But, uh, you know, you got to be ready for the, uh, any implement, uh, inclement weather. But uh, they did a great job. So we had some good performances still. So uh, very happy with that. Uh, so it's just overall it was a good weekend, ready to move on. How did, um, how did S SFA prepare us for this, um, prepare for us to handle the weather? Uh, SFA prepared us very well. It was in the 30s for SFA. No uh, heavy rain, just some light rain, but it was very, very cold. This time we had more rain than uh, cold weather, but in the 50s with, uh, I guess, low 50s with uh, the rain, it made it feel a little colder. There was a lot more wind. Uh, you know, they just, you have to go to a whole nother place mentally to uh, prepare out there to go and compete in that. And, uh, you know, in, in track and field, you don't get to layer up very much. Uh, you, you can't do a lot of the things that we do in layered up clothing. So you have to kind of go out there in just a uniform and get after it. So you have to mentally be prepared. So one thing that I, I guess I, I am liking I seen is uh, the mental toughness of the kids that they're coming away with the uh, last couple of weeks. And who do you think stood out uh, among the field of performers this past weekend? Oh, uh, oof. I think uh, Colin Mitlin had a good day in the javelin uh, to throw in those conditions and still throw a, a personal best, uh, very good. Uh, Cedric Paul had a good weekend in the shot put. Uh, he threw right out his personal best and it was actually raining. Uh, Corey Reynolds had a good day in the discus. Uh, it was actually raining pretty hard when they were throwing. Not as hard as it was when the men threw uh, the disc, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and really all the runners had a good day. Uh, you know, Jacqueline uh, Rushford had a great 10-second uh, PR in the 3, 3K, but you know, I was just, again, really proud on how everybody competed out there. I think we ran into a headwind on most uh, of the straightaway races. Uh, and then they did turn it for the, the 200s, but the 200s were so late in the day that uh, the kids were just ready to kind of get out of there. But, uh, you know, so there was a lot of good performances. I was just happy that everybody, you know, got out there, they competed, they didn't complain too much, and they just uh, got it done. And also, we competed in, besides um, at Louisiana Monroe. We also competed at um, Texas Invitational. And how do you think we did as a group um, over there as well? Uh, we did take a few of the sprinters over to the uh, Texas Invite uh, because of the weather. We felt like we needed to get a couple of the kids in uh, a couple more uh, events uh, before a conference. And uh, the first day was pretty good. I think they had some warmer weather, and I think they had a little bit cooler weather on Saturday. Uh, they had some really bad lane draws, but you know. Uh, DeShaylin Jones breaks the school record in the 200. Uh, Amir James runs a very good 200 uh, in lane, uh, I want to say he was in lane nine. And then, uh, you know, Michael Magruder had a good day, and so did uh, Michael Larkins, all in the two. Uh, I don't think too many of them ran on Saturday in the, in the, in the hundreds, but they did run four by ones, uh, which they came away, I think they're both seconds. Uh, we had a kind of change of lineup on the men. Uh, Amir was tight that morning, uh, hamstring and hips. So, uh, you know, he didn't run, uh, so we threw Tredari's car in there. So it was nice to throw someone who hasn't even practiced it hardly at all uh, on there and still run 40 point low and uh, compete. Uh, you know, we just need a little bit more luck. I think uh, Deshaun had uh, drew lane one in the 400 hurdles. And after the first hurdle, the girl in lane two kicked her hurdle over and it was into Day's lane. So Day tripped over that hurdle and still ran 103. Uh, you know, she's just not having any luck right now, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Just pre preparing us more and more. Every time that they have a, some type of, a, I guess, a, a situation occur, we got to learn how to kind of uh, rise above it and still compete. So I'm still proud of her for finishing. So, you know, it was a good day uh, for both squads that we had, just waiting for some better and warmer weather. It's supposed to be spring here in Louisiana and the south here, and I'm still waiting for it. And since this weekend we have a, we're going to LSU, but it's kind of an invitational format. So, so not every student athlete will be qualifying for that meet. So, what's kind of the field of athletes are, who, who are who are going there most mainly? Well, the ones who qualify, of course, uh, will enter today, and I think we'll find out by Wednesday who actually makes it in, or not. And uh, that group will go down Saturday, and it'll give us a little bit more indication. It'll probably be closer to the group that we take the conference. Uh, uh, 
you know, qu conference we're not quite qualified, but we, do, we don't just take everybody. Uh, we have some travel, po uh, travel squad size limitations uh, that actually our team is larger than the travel squad sizes that we can take to conference, so we do have to narrow it down. But uh, it'll be some of our, you know, better people. They do have a, a B division that a lot of our kids will still make it in. And, uh, you know, we have a pretty good track team, and we'll go down there and compete and uh, see what we can do against the state's best in the region. And there'll be a few schools from around the nation that, go do, that do go to Baton Rouge to compete because we're supposed to have warm weather down here in the south. Thank you very much, Coach Harmon. Thank you.